Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. When last we played, we built a stockade and we fought off an invasion of monsters. And it looks like somebody new has been attracted to our fair village. Phew, I finally made it. I found the source of the light. Look at these beautiful buildings. I've heard the rumors, but I never imagined it would be anything like this. Hold on, you didn't build this whole town yourself, did you? But that would mean you must be him, the builder. Great goddess above, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting the real live builder in the real live flesh. So, you're rebuilding the ruins of Ketlin, are you? The city that was once watched over by the giant golem. My name's Sheridan, by the way. I was traveling the world for a long, long time before I finally found my way to this place. I know I don't have much to offer, but I would gladly tell you the lands I've seen on my way here. I can't say how much you... you how much use you could make of information like that, but I'll happily tell you all I know. If it's alright with you, I'll settle in straight away. And welcome to the town, Sheridan. Okay. By my elegant eyelashes, Sinako, my boy, you found another teleportal. A fortuitous find indeed. I was just talking to our new friend Sheridan, you see. He told me where we might find the legendary blacksmith I mentioned earlier. Or, rather, that blacksmith's descendant. And it seems the island where this man was last seen is on the other side of that very teleportal. What a coincidence. If you could persuade that smith to join our town, there's no end to the mighty arms and armors we could build. Now be sure that new teleportal is firmly in place, Inaku, and go and track down that man. Alright, let's take out some items here. And we'll complete that quest. Bam! Treasure room turned into a twin teleportarium. Oh, that's right. He doesn't just want us to uh, place that teleporter. We gotta find that guy. Blah, 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 blah. Treasury house. Nice. Okay, we've got another quest from Pippa. Well, Zanaku, now that you've got that new teleporter, you can go to a whole new island. You know, I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I'm itching to try out some of the new recipes I've dreamed up. For example, I thought I could stuff some chimeras beaks with plum berries and grasshoppers, and then boil them in a mixture of earth and blue goo. <coughs> But when I told Rolo my idea, he said he'd die if he had to eat something like that. So Zanaka, I was wondering if you could show me one of the new t recipes you've invented. Something that tastes really tasty but doesn't make you die. Yeah, dying kind of puts a crimp in your plans, doesn't it? I know you're really busy doing things for Rolo and everyone else, so I don't mind if you can't help me straight away. So a little side quest for us. Okay... And let's place a few more decorations here. Just to raise us up to level 4. There we go. Oh, I wonder what would happen if we replaced these two separate little beds with a king size bed. Okay, that's still considered one bed, so it's a private bedroom. Shared bedroom. There we go. 
Let's make sure there's enough beds for everybody here. Grotty guest house. Nice. There we go. Level four. And as before, let us quickly... Destroy all of our rooms. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, wrong place. Let's move that a bit. And there we go. So now we've got everything taken care of here. Let's toss a couple of things into the storage that we don't really need. Don't think we're going to need that blueprint anytime soon. Alright, there we go. Let's do this. New World! And of course, as always, there's a chest next to the teleportal containing a Nava globe. And there's new ghosts to be found. You notice some of them have a green hat now? Whoa, scorpion! The green hats can cast spells. So you gotta be careful about that. They're also able to take more of a hit. There we go. <clears throat> so let's explore a bit here. We've got the same slimes. Oh, look, there's a bunny now, too. Or a bunny corn, rather, because it's got a horn. Whoa! And it likes to charge. And it drops steaks. Bunny corn steak. Increases hunger meter by 20% and increases attack power for a short time. Very nice. Well, we need to heal up. Okay, let us continue. Ten bucks says something's in here. We got some sand grass and some sandstone. Okay, nope, I was wrong. Nothing in there. Just more sandstone. And these trees only give us broken branches, which is still useful, but not as useful as wood.
We got cactuses here that could probably be broken apart for stuff. Excuse me. Hey, human, over here! Hey, you, you're that Tanaka boy Clobberina was talking about. I really hate, hate, hate you humans, but Clobberina told us we have to help you. And what she says goes. I'll give you the lowdown in the local area, but nothing more. This place is called the Damdara Desert. There's never been anything here for as long as anyone remembers. Well, I say there's nothing here, but there's still all sorts of materials you won't find near Hammerton Heights. If you're into that sort of thing, you should take a look, look, look around. Oops, girl, why are you still doing here? Alright, I suppose I'll let you in on another little tidbit. If you've seen, been inside one of those caves, you sometimes see the side of the cliffs or mountains. They're almost full of metals and minerals, and sometimes people hide treasure in them too. If you ever see a cave like that, head, head, head straight in and take a look. I always do. And we got more minerals over here. Oh, and there's a cave way over there. Oh, what's this? A dash of salt, a pinch of cloves. Thou canst see me? How very unexpected. Must be another ghost. Tis a rare one. Indeed, they can see as denizen of the spirit realm such as I. What manner of man am I? I was once a culinarian of some renown. I created the most sophisticated dishes, unlike aught the realm had seen before. The pinnacle of my work was the invention of the brick barbecue. Alas, I never did get the chance to share my ingenious idea with the world. The enticing aromas of my very last meal attracted a band of roving monsters. With my dish of spiced plum berries not enough to satisfy their hunger, they slew me. Be wary, traveler. With great cuisine cometh great danger. Oh, and here we go. More iron scorpions. Whoa. Okay, so I can only go so far away before they despawn. Uh, looks like we got something here. Medicinal herbs. Very nice. Restores quite a bit of HP. Thou hast slain the monsters? Tis a pity. I was hoping to offer thee a waiter's role in my spectral restaurant. Ah, but since thou canst see me, maybe perhaps there is another role thou might just fill, fulfill. I bid thee assume my mantle, carry on my legacy of culinary research, and make use of the secrets I did uncover. Go out into the land of the living and become the greatest culinarian in the world. What sayest thou? Tis an offer few would refuse. Wilt thou become the one and only head chef of Alephgard? Eh. What? Thou art too busy building to turn your hand to anything else? Bah, thou art a fool. Dost thou not see that cooking is but another form of building? Oh, look at him spaz out. Tis not a simple matter of filling empty stomachs. Each meal bringeth hope and happiness to hearts of those who consume it. Shouldst thou truly hope to save the world, I urge thee to continue my work. I shall teach thee how to build the brick barbecue. Protest all thou might, but thou shalt be taught. I pray thee, allow my genius to aid thee in thy quest to make Alifard arise again. Make a, we know how to make a brick barbecue now. Very nice. And while we're at it, there's a couple of decorations here. A dining table. And meat feast. Very nice. No healing herbs that time. Okay, or medicinal herbs. So we got a brick barbecue. That'll be nice. And it looks like there's a cave, but it's surrounded by water. How to get to... Ah, I think I see how to get to it. Or is that water... Okay, the water's not very deep, it looks like. We can walk across. Very nice. But from there, we're having a little trouble getting up there. Okay. 
Do your spin. So let's use this sandstone to get us up there. Oh, whoops. There we go. Oh, materials. And more materials. Nothing really big in here, okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, yeah, we got some of that before. All right. No biggie. Okay, so this way to the blacksmith. And I see a poisonous swamp there. Quite a few stone buildings, and what's Pippa doing here? But we'll have to find that out next time. Until then, this has been PG, and I'm out. Peace.